Hey guys, we're down here at the Al Wassel branch of the eGolf Mega Store for another equipment review, and it's an exciting one today because I'm holding in my hand a brand new iron by TaylorMade, the most successful, the most popular iron that the company have ever produced. This is the P790 third generation. When the first generation was launched a few years ago, it was immediately successful and they've made incredible improvements to this golf club, which has been versatile. It's been very popular. It's appealed to a wide range of golfers. And we're gonna delve into some of the technology and some of the improvements that they've made to this third generation P790 to helpfully get you hitting the ball higher, longer, straighter, and more consistent. I'm joined by PGA professional, expert club fitter as well, Perry Harper, who's as excited as I am about this new golf club. In fact, Perry cut his holiday short by a few days when he heard it was being released. You've raced back here to get here, Perry. Talk to me about why the P790, why has it been so successful? Uh, when the P790 was launched back in 2017, it was groundbreaking because it was one of the first times which was forged and forgiven. Naturally, you wouldn't see that on the market. A forged iron would actually be sort of smaller, um, but they managed to make it nice and forgiving, fast, long, straight, and still look good and feel good. So who doesn't want that? No, yeah, I mean, a few years ago, 10 years ago plus, when you were looking for a forged iron, you needed to be a really low handicapper to be able to hit it. You needed to have a very consistent strike pattern to get you, you know, the best out of that golf club. Whereas now, we've seen it, and we've spoken about it before, technologies have, have almost caused the categories to merge slightly. The players clubs at the, at the bottom end of that spectrum have kind of come up to meet the game improvement clubs in the middle. So now you're getting game improvement clubs that look rather like players clubs from years gone by and the players clubs have, have actually become more forgiving as a result. So that's immediately what I see when I look at this golf club. And this golf club is noticeably smaller in terms of the head, it's thinner, than the previous generation of P790. But when you look at the Club Perry, that does not look to me like a game improvement iron. No, so the groundbreaking technology behind the reason why it looks a bit smaller is they've introduced a new carbon uh, steel, so they call it the 8620, uh, which has allowed the head to be smaller, but they've actually increased the sweet spot size by almost 60%. So if you can make, so they've managed to make the face easier to use and more forgiving, so you can naturally lose the, some of the ugly parts that don't look so good. You can get rid of them and concentrate on the face being more forgiving. So like you said, smaller, looks better, but easier to use. Yeah, the tailor-made team of iron developers, they hit, I think, tested thousands upon thousands of golf shots to find the precise patterns where most players are typically striking the ball on the face. And they've incorporated that in, as Perry says, a new enlarged sweet spot, 60% larger, which gives you, of course, a 60% better chance of actually flushing one down the middle as well. So it looks great. It's a, a hollow body construction. So you can see there, it's um, what I would refer to as a, as a muscle back. It's kind of, there is not much of a cavity here. They, that's, again, part of the new technology, isn't it, Perry? Yeah, so on the outset of it, it might look like a, like a muscle back or a blade, but actually on the inside, it's completely hollow. Um, so the hollow muscle back cavities design that most manufacturers are going with these days. Um, and what they'll do is they'll fill that hollow cavity with what well, Taylor May have now introduced a new speed foam ear, which is 69% denser than the previous generation, saving weight, taking that weight, I think it was three and a half grams if managed to save, and redistributing that in strategic locations to make the golf club more forgiving, but ultimately maintaining that real hot, fast face that we know the P790 iron has. Okay, so improvements have been made in terms of looks. This is a sleeker golf club. It's more aerodynamic. It's a thinner, it's a smaller head. It will appeal to better golfers naturally. And in terms of performance as well, speed has been added, performance has been added, forgiveness has been added by this new speed foam air technology. Of course, decreasing the density inside this hollow core and actually saving weight and that's of course we've seen it with the driver market as well that is the holy grail for these club manufacturers to save as much weight as possible to produce as much speed as possible and to produce as hot a face 
as the regulations okay. will allow. Okay, great insight there from Perry. We've got the GC quad set up here down at the Al Wassel store. Let's give this a hit. Let's see what the numbers are. I've got my own seven iron numbers that I can refer it to. And uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Right then, I've hit 10 shots on the GC quad down here in the swing simulator. And we're taking a look at some of the data, immediate observations from my side. It felt good, certainly on the better swings that I made. The contact feels really hot. Um, the, uh, the speed off the face is impressive as well. And what was most impressive, I think, is on some of the poorer swings, the ball still traveled equivocal distance. The consistency of distance, I thought, was the most sort of eye-catching thing about this golf club. And I've hit 10 shots with a seven iron, averaging about 190 yards through the air. Five of them have landed on the green. Five of them I pulled to the left. That's my textbook bad shot at the moment. So five out of 10 greens in regulation from 190 yards. Perry said it was okay. I'll take it, Perry. <laughs> You're being a little bit harsh, maybe just a touch. But um, yeah, looking at some of the numbers, these are the top line numbers there. Felt like I was hitting it nice and high. It's obviously difficult to tell in a simulator, but you can certainly see when it comes to the descent angle, Perry, and uh, the peak height, that's typically higher than I would usually hit a seven iron. Yeah, so when well, I said drilling ever fitting, uh, descent angle, what we're looking for is 45. 45 degrees is sort of the magic number that's gonna allow the golf ball to stop pretty much on any green that you play on, unless obviously it's minus two. Um, but you can see out there, look, so 48 degrees. So the golf ball's coming in from a very good, good descent angle. Uh, and the spin's very good too. So um, 5,382 uh, as your average back spin. So that's a good number as well. So with that height and with that spin, the golf ball's going to be landing like a dart really. So you're gonna be able to tap the flags, which maybe took behind somewhere. Um, good. Perhaps previous generation of irons have been longer or as long but what's impressive about this one, I think, is those numbers, the descent angle, the height that you're, you're, you're attaining with a seven iron, and you're still not losing distance. You're still getting it out there. I mean, my average carry was 188 yards with this golf club, an average total of 197, which is certainly longer than I would typically hit my seven iron. It's about 10 yards longer than my current seven iron. Um, now, of course, my current seven iron is geared towards more control and perhaps not perhaps less distance so again that's a matter of personal preference as well but i thought what was really interesting perry was when you look at the carry distance not much discrepancy among those 10 shots no, that that uh, that's what taylor made have really really worked on with this iron is trying to give you as much consistency in distance for throughout all the shots that you hit so you can see there you've got at the very bottom of that screen there you've got plus minus four yards so for you hitting 10 shots from 188 yards, you'd like to hope that you're gonna hit the green most times with that. You're not gonna to come too short, you're not gonna to go too long. So four yards for anyone, whether you was off plus two or off 22, plus or minus four yards is unbelievable, it's great. It's the third generation P790. I think it's gonna prove as popular as its predecessors, that's for sure. Again, impressed with it, haven't hit a huge number of shots with it, but the shots that I have hit, um, I've seen a lot of consistency in terms of distance. I've seen a really nice ball flight as well. I've uh, certainly on the on the Pro Tracer here on the, the swing simulator, and well, the GC quad numbers have kind of backed up those assertions. Really consistent with the carry distance. Very impressed and very happy with those numbers. Total distance as well, and it's just a great looking golf club. To boot so i think this will appeal to a huge range of golfers whether you are a low single figure handicapper whether you are a mid-teens handicapper looking to make further improvements to your game and still wanting that forgiveness still wanting that distance that that a game improvement type of iron can provide i think that's why the p790 will continue very much in the same vein as its predecessors and continue to be the most popular iron that Taylor made offer. It is brand new here in the Middle East. It's available at eGolf Megastore. It's the third generation Taylor made P790. If this review has been useful for you, please do subscribe to our channel and watch out for loads more great content coming your way very soon.